today's video, I'm going to be building a no game pass house in Bloxburg with a budget of $100,000. So I'm talking no advanced placement, no transform tool, no multiple floors and no basement. And the reason I'm doing this is because one of my subscribers called a uh, Giga Chad Mummy Milk. Okay, you guys actually have the weirdest usernames. But anyway, you get the point. Someone commented and said, I would build in Bloxburg, but I have no game passes and all Alaska's builds have game passes. And they never finish their sentence, but you get the point. One of you guys asked me to build a no game pass house. So here I am on my top secret alternative account with absolutely no game passes proving to you guys that just because you don't have any game passes in Bloxburg doesn't mean your house has to look like shit. <laughs> your mood is low and you aren't feeling very good. <laughs> Go away. I feel perfectly fine, all right? Okay, so let's start building this no game pass house before I start stinking up the entire Bloxburg community. So as you can see, I've already got like a little layout to go with. We're gonna make this pretty small, so like only two bedroom. And for the style, I think we're gonna go with like a contemporary style. Look at me, I stink. <laughs> that is disgusting. So contemporary is very like minimalistic, kind of goes with the trends. So like a mixture of modern. So we might do like slate and concrete. Oh, and we also don't have the color wheel. I totally forgot about that one. Okay, for the over here, I think I might make this out of vertical planks. I don't know if I should go with hurricane gray or flint or cloudy gray. I'm sticking with cloudy gray, guys. And for the roof, I think we're gonna stick with gable. Now that I think of it, how on earth am I gonna make an entire house with only $100,000? You know how expensive my houses are? Another reason I'm doing contemporary is because it's also kind of like minimalistic. So we're not gonna be adding like lots of furniture. Y'all, this roof is gonna cost me half of my budget already. I don't realize how expensive roofs are in Bloxburg. I'm until I'm actually building on a budget. And then I'm like, oh damn, Felicia. I'm pretty sure we can add pillars on a no game pass house. If we can't, then I will cry. No, we can't. I usually put pillars like in here to give it more structure. If we use the biggest grid size, we can put it like right at the front here, which you know what? Technically it works. So haha, -ha, I beat the system. And we'll also add some wall trims at the bottom here as well. Oh, she looking yummy. Honestly, it's so true though. Even if you have no game passes, your house can still look amazing. Okay, we also need to add some spotlights at the front here. I have to keep reminding myself that we are on a budget. And if you know me, you know how easily distracted I get. Okay, well, technically we have a little bit over 100K, but like rounding it up, we've got 100K. I might also add a little garden at the front here. Not enough space. <gasps> I can't add a garden here? Well, that's rude. Yes, I love when nothing loads and I can't see anything. That's just so fun. Thank you, Bloxburg. Y'all, that's like $500 for a bush. Okay, I don't know why I'm wasting all my money at the front. Like, stop. So typically, I would use modern windows like this. But because we are on a budget, we're going to use clear windows instead. The only problem is I can't change the size because I don't have advanced placement. But who cares? And we could also add some shutters to make it nice and pretty. I think I'm going to change the footpath, though. I feel like it would look nicer if it was like wooden planks. And we can also add like... Like a little garden here and we can't forget the garage door so we'll plop that right there i also really want to add some lights up here but i don't know if i can Yo, i've been looking for lights for like five minutes i i cannot find them for the life of me oh my god i'm in the building category i am stupid okay classic outdoor wall lamp can we place it here no we cannot you know what we can place it here that is fine okay and the last thing we need is a fence so i'm thinking a nice log fence would actually look really cute and i feel like it also goes with like the contemporary style <laughs> i love how i'm like guys one last thing and then i add like five more things. One last thing equals 10 more things. Okay, bada beam, bada boom. Our beautiful front yard is done. Now that we've got the front yard done, now we can focus on the inside. And we've got $98,000 left, so I think that's pretty good. Maybe, hopefully. Will I run out of a budget? Probably. So most contemporary styles use like beiges, like neutral tones, but uh, we do not have the color palette. So the closest that we're gonna get to like cream is like cloudy gray. So I think we're gonna play it safe and go with white and just have like a few feature walls here and there. So for example, this wall can be like a dark stone gray feature wall. Spice it up a little bit, you know? I love me a good old feature wall. Like when you guys send me photos of your Bloxburg house and someone's like, Alaska, I have a feature wall. I'm like, oh my gosh, music to my ears. Actually, vertical planks would look pretty nice. Oh my gosh, guys, I didn't even think about the flooring situation. Can I layer floors if I don't have any game passes? All right, moment of truth. <gasps> we can. Okay, so I guess now we can start decorating the inside and <gasps> I just gave myself a jump scare. Look how terrifying I look. Okay, so like a contemporary living room. I think like a nice console table with like a mirror above here. Oh my gosh, another annoying thing with the no game passes is every time I place something down, it places like that. I actually hate placing things. Look at this, look, ready? 
where did it go? What are you doing? Just normally place. What? You just place back. Can you stop? And then if we go into structures, we can use like ordinary string to... Never mind. We cannot do that. I am a moron. What are we missing in this entry area? I feel like a nice long carpet. I feel like a nice long carpet would look nice. <laughs> if you have no game passes in Bloxburg, I actually have so much respect for you. I remember back in the day when I had no game passes. Oh, how the turntables have turned. I feel like a nice simple armchair right there would look cute. We have a little hallway here so I might put the chair over here instead because I'm gonna make this kind of like a library. <gasps> oh actually I can make this an office. Wait that's so much better. Okay the entry area is done. I might just add like a few plants here just to give it some flavor. So for our little study in here usually I would use like a basic shape and make it like floating on the wall. But we cannot use basic shapes today. Well we can we just can't change the size of them. So instead we're going to use a quadratic desk and put it right there. Then we can have our nice comfy chair and of course a laptop. I don't know if I want to spend $4,000 though. We've only got $94,000 left. Should I be wasting my money on a laptop? Yes, I should. I am a material girl. Okay, what else can we have on my little office? I guess we can also have like a paper pile, maybe a little lamp as well. There we go, a nice little cylindrical lamp in the corner. But as you can see, it's still dark in here. So what I'm going to do is add a geometric chandelier in the corner because I feel like a lot of contemporary houses have a lot of geometric shapes. And another thing we need in our office is some book space. We might even put like a hanging place plan on this bookshelf because I feel like there's not much greenery in here. We need more greenery. For some reason I really want to have like a baby blue carpet. Oh also some paintings, 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 paintings. And the most important thing we need in this office is curtains because if I have to stare at my creepy face one more second I'm gonna go crazy. Okay and there we go we've got our beautiful little office. So I guess the next room we can work on is like our bedroom. So this is going to be the master bedroom aka bedroom number one. I guess it doesn't matter like what door we have. So you know what I'm literally just gonna use a plain door because I I mean, it is the cheapest option and I can still make it look good with materials. For example, if I make it out of like vertical planks, it doesn't look like a basic door anymore. Okay, so for the master bedroom. So we're gonna have like a modern double bed here. Oh, can you stop place, just place normally. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm going crazy. Wait, can we place blankets on a no game pass house? <gasps> we can't, that is so rude. Wait, what about pillows? Can we add little pillows? Oh, we can. Okay, we can add pillows, but we just can't change the shape of them, which honestly is fine with me because I hate changing the shape of pillows. And above my bed we're gonna have a nice fancy painting and for some reason for the bedside tables I really want to use counters oh apparently I cannot because there's not enough room never mind Bloxburg just smashed my dreams I guess instead we can just use this like industrial nightstand and instead of like a regular bedside table instead we're gonna use a pendant so two pendants like this and I mean look how nice that looks now for our little bedside tables on this one we can have a salt lamp and a mug because you know we love our good old 3 a.m. sips of water no I'm serious water at 3 a.m. just hits different. All right, and there we go. We've got our two nightstands. And then at the end of the bed, I also want like an extra sitting area. So if we go into comfort, they've got these rustic benches. So I'm just going to place one at the end of the bed like this. Oh, we can't forget our little slippers next to our bed just in case we want to hop into our slippers. And as this is like the master bedroom, I feel like a fireplace would be fitting. So you know what? We shall be adding a fireplace. Why does it place like that? Every single time I try to place something, watch what it does. Why? I'm actually going to lose my mind. It's not even funny. Now, instead of a TV, we're gonna be fancy and add a fancy painting and I don't know why it just it looks so much better and we also need storage for our clothes obviously so I'm thinking like an industrial wardrobe rack somewhere okay ideally I would fit it like right here but we can't do that so I guess instead we can put like a fancy dresser near the door and this corner right here is screaming for me to add a chair and a plant so okay I can't add a plant but I can add a chair so I guess we're just gonna have to cut our losses all right and I think that is our master bedroom all complete so now we can start working on the room next to it which is the bathroom okay so i reckon concrete in the bathroom would actually look really cute and as you can see this bathroom is only three by three so we really have to like utilize our space so i'm gonna actually cut this in half and add a modern window right in here okay so the reason i put a wall here is obviously so i can fit the shower right in this corner what's like the cheapest shower why is the cheapest shower 430 dollars you know what we're having a gold shower because <laughs> we're fancy like that and for the sink we're just gonna use like a shaker drawer guys i need to stop reading my comments because i, I swear where every single time I read a comment, it's a hate comment about my voice and I get so insecure. Someone was like, I actually hate the way you see draw and I don't even realize I'm saying it bad. You know what guys, considering we don't have any game passes, I haven't really struggled this far. Like there hasn't been a point where I'm like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. Another thing I realized that someone brought to my attention is that I never use light switches. I literally do not remember the last time that I used a light switch in Bloxburg. Okay, so we've got the shower, we've got the sink. Actually, 
obviously we need more storage in the shower. I'm just gonna use these wedge floating shelves in the corner. And then this way we can have some like shampoo, some soap, just some good old bathroom products, you know? Okay, so we've got the sink, we've got the shower. Obviously the last thing we need in here is a toilet. I'm scared to use a toilet in front of this weird Alaska poop cult thing going on. Okay, now I'd say the bathroom is finished. It actually turned out like pretty nice. So now we've got bedroom number two, which is over here. Actually, I think I made this bigger because I wanted this to fit two beds instead of one. Okay, so we can fit bed number one here. Oh! <sighs> Okay, bed number one, there. And then bed number two can go along this wall. Okay, considering the beds are both facing like out to this corner, this would actually be the perfect corner to add a TV. And hey, that's pretty good. So we're gonna have some paintings around the place. I feel like lots of teen rooms have these overgrown wall vines. And for the bedside table, we're just gonna give them fancy bedside tables. Wait, do you guys call them bedside tables or nightstands? Like I just call them bedside tables. <laughs> actually, the one thing about this room is I want the two beds to look a little bit different. So this bedroom can have like emo vibes. Did I just say emo vibes? Actually, I guess we can also have like a desk in here and instead of adding a laptop because that is like way too expensive we're just gonna have a book okay and just like that bedroom two is all finished as for the living room that is gonna go over here and the first thing we need in the living room is obviously a fireplace actually you know what i just thought of something what if i put the fireplace here in the middle like right in the middle like this okay bear with me and then along this wall we can have this traditional entertainment center because you know what this is actually so cool and i've only used this like once so you know what ladies and gentlemen that is what we're going to be using so we have like a fat tv in here and then fill up this bookshelf with like books photos and plants so far this is actually looking pretty nice so we need a nice long carpet and the simple carpet is like very very small and we can't use advanced placement to change the size so all we're gonna do is just place two carpets next to each other okay as for the chairs i don't know what's like a contemporary chair oh actually you know what's a contemporary chair oval sofas i haven't used these in ages like when was the last time you've seen someone use these sofas in Bloxburg? well today i'm gonna use them okay and for the table i'm pretty sure they have like a modern table they do they have this modern coffee table so that's what we're gonna use okay we can have some like weird vases on the table vases vases who knows also this is really random but i don't like how there's like a really really massive gap here so how i'm gonna close this off is by going to pillars and adding like a bunch of plain thin pillars right here and as you can see by adding pillars it kind of closes off the space and if you want to go a little bit fancy schmancy we can add some like neon horizontal lights randomly throughout these pillars and you know what i actually think that turned out pretty nice. So now we can move on to the kitchen, which is over in this little corner. So I think we're going to do like a beige kitchen. Oh, you know what's going to be so annoying? Placing all these counters. Watch. Look at this. Look at this. I'm actually, I'm proper raging at these counters. They're so annoying. Okay, oven can go there. Okay, we can put the fridge like right here and hopefully we'll be able to fit another counter. Advanced placement is so strict. I can't even place a counter unless I put another counter here. Oh, <gasps> it worked. Okay, cabinets. Oh, is there a way to stop this? Please, please tell me because I am going insane. You know what, guys? that is the best we're gonna get and we might do like a little modern kitchen moment so maybe something like this for the color palette you know what i'm actually very surprised i haven't ran out of a budget yet like i can't believe we've still got 44,000 left and gold pans because gold Wow, Alaska, thanks. That was really insightful. Actually, one of you guys taught me this little build hack and I thought it was so cute. So I'm gonna try and copy it. You had like a cutting board here and then you had peanut butter and jelly on top. Like, see, look how cute that looks. You know what we're missing in this kitchen? An island bench. So we're just gonna put like one single basic counter just because we don't have much room in here. You know what? I feel like we've added too many chandeliers. So we might not have a chandelier in the kitchen just because I don't wanna go overboard with the chandeliers. I don't want it to look too crazy. So what I've been doing recently is going around the corner of the roof and adding these thick ceiling lights and i don't know why it just looks nice and like clean and i guess we can also have like a few stools in here okay and the reason i added a fireplace here is so you can kind of look into the dining room which is going to be here considering we've got like thirty nine thousand left i think we can go all out for this dining room so i think we're going to be using this transitional dining table and we can also set the table up make it nice and fancy with some good old contemporary dining chairs for some reason i thought without advanced placement you can't place things on top of plates but apparently you can and you know what so far this dining table is actually looking pretty good like you can't even tell that it was made without any game passes okay and the dining room is complete and then at the back of the house we have the backyard which as you can see i've outlined so we're not going to make it too big actually you know what we're going to extend this backyard we're going to make it big i mean we've got thirty-two thousand dollars left so i feel like we've got the budget to have a big backyard i definitely want to have a pool somewhere though we're just going to use a shallow pool because we do be broke i reckon a nice shallow pool here super cute all i'll need to do now is just like outline it see this pool's a total vibe y'all i can 
can hear something buzzing around in my room and I think it's a wasp. So I'm just gonna try and ignore it and hopefully it will go away. We've also got this little section over here. So I'm gonna add like a fireplace and a barbecue. And there we go. Our little outdoor area is all finished. Oh my gosh, guys, I totally forgot about the garage. Well, you know what? We've got $23,000 left. So do we have the budget to buy a car? You know what? We can buy the cheapest car, which is the uh, GOAT 500. I have never bought this car. You know what? We're buying it. Yes, look at her go. Y'all, low key, why does everyone hate this car? It's kind of cute. Okay, with our last $5,000, I think we're just gonna like decorate the place and make it nice and homey. So let me do that and then I shall give you a tour. Okay, so good news is the No Game Pass house is finally complete and comes to a total of 101,000, which technically is 100,000. Bad news is I literally stink so bad. So let me go have a shower. Oh yeah, that's definitely better. Okay, so now that I don't stink, let's head on inside. So here is how the outside turned out. Honestly, for a No Game Pass house, I think this is pretty cute. So through here, we have the garage. And as you can see, it's pretty minimalistic in here. We have the overly hated $18,000 car. I'm not even gonna try and attempt to drive it just because of how slow it is. Okay, now walking inside. Oh my gosh, why am I so like sad? So here we've got the beautiful entry area. I think my favorite part of this entry area is like this little office in the corner. Like it literally is so cute. And then the first room on the left, we have bedroom number one, which is obviously the master bedroom. Like we have a full fireplace and TV. Like, who would not want that in their bedroom? And looking at it right now, I could not tell that this was made without any game passes. And of course, over here, we have the bathroom, aka my favorite room in the house. Because two minutes ago, I was literally stinking so bad. So yeah, I really love the color palette for the bathroom. I think it just fits together so nicely. And if we need some extra privacy in here, we have these beautiful white blends. And the last bedroom is, of course, the second bedroom, which is like the kid's bedroom. Okay, let me know. Would you rather be in this bed or this bed? Personally, I would want to live in this bed because, I mean, hello, they have a view of the pool. Okay, now coming out here, the first room we have back here is obviously the living room. And honestly, this living room is actually stunning. And I'm really glad I went with this whole bookshelf cabinet. And behind the living room, we of course have the kitchen. As you can see, I kind of like split the kitchen up in half with the fireplace. And I think this was a kind of a smart move because it was such a big area. I think the most difficult part of this no game pass challenge was definitely the kitchen. But considering this, it still turned out pretty nice. And then behind the kitchen, we lastly have the dining room, which now that I'm looking at it, I forgot to paint a chair. And then behind the dining table, we have the backyard. The backyard's pretty simple. We just got like a fireplace over here. And then behind here, we've got a pool. We have a little swim. <laughs> so yeah, that was me building a no game pass house in Bloxburg. And honestly, this just proves my point that even if you have no game passes, you can still build a pretty nice home. Like this house is generally something I would actually live in. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did recreate this house, definitely tag me and let me know. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.